What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Jackson Taku. And I'm Matthew Lee. Today is April 29th, and welcome to our fifth distance learning episode of Wolfpack TV. Attention all seniors, tomorrow, April 30th, there will be a cap and gown pickup in the culinary parking lot from 3 to 6 p.m. No RSVP necessary. This is a chance to connect with the class of 2020 and make sure that our seniors know that they are not forgotten. All students are required to come in a car or vehicle to maintain physical distancing. Seniors, in order to prepare for our virtual graduation ceremony, we need to obtain the following information from you. Your ID number, first name, middle name or initial, last name, and your private email address or your parents email. Please complete the survey sent to your student view by tomorrow, April 30th. The company's marching order and stage clip who are supporting us with the making the virtual graduation ceremony will email you important information as well as links to upload a picture of yourself in your cap and gown. Because of the COVID-19 outbreak, millions have come together to give back and help those in need. Harasakab has more on these charitable efforts. What's going on Wolfpack? Harasakab here updating everybody on the major charitable efforts so far during this COVID-19 pandemic. One of the efforts I would like to talk about today is the platform Twitch. A live streaming platform that consists of social media icons such as Pokemon, Dr. Disrespect, Tifu, TSM Myth, and a variety of others. On March 28th, Twitch had hosted a fundraising live stream called Stream A 2020. The funds counted for the Solidarity Response Fund for WHO. In this 9 hour stream, viewers were able to donate to the cause of COVID-19. Sponsors such as Amazon Music, Verizon, Gillette, and PNG also made contributions. For entertainment, celebrities such as Sting, Shaggy, MGK, G Idol, Madison Beer had time frames of the stream to sing, speak, and other things of that nature to keep the viewers entertained. The stream generated over $2.7 million in donations. Another great effort comes from the UK. Captain Tom Moore is now a 100-year-old war veteran who served in India and Myanmar during World War II. Tom Moore originally aimed to raise just 1,000 pounds for NHS's charities together by completing laps of his garden before his 100th birthday. He beat that goal with ease after nearly 800,000 people made donations to his fundraising page. With the aid of a walking frame, he completed 100 laps of the 25-meter loop in his garden in Marston Mortain, Bedfordshire in 10 laps chunks before his birthday on April 30th. Nearly 24 hours later, donations totaled up to more than 17 million pounds. The chairman of NHS, Ian Lush, said that about 150 different charities will benefit from the money. Some notable celebrity donations are Justin Timberlake donating to Mid-South Food Bank, located in his hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively said they're donating $1 million to Feeding America and Food Banks Canada. Real Housewives star Bethany Frankel's Disaster Relief Foundation, Be Strong, is planning on donating 1 million face masks. Russell Wilson and Sierra are donating 1 million meals to Food Lifeline. Modern Family star Eric Stone Street said that he's donating 200,000 meals to Harvester's Kansas City's location. Rihanna's Clara Lionel Foundation donated a total of 5 million to help various organizations. Beyonce and Jay-Z also donated a combined total of $2 million through their foundation, specifically to help relief efforts in New York and Los Angeles. UFC fighter Conor McGregor is donating 1 million euros worth of protective equipment for hospitals in Ireland. These are all perfect examples of what people can do to help the world during this unprecedented time. Well, that's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm Harasakib. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Horace. Shout out to everyone who is taking time to give back to their communities during this pandemic. On a different note, many artists have been releasing new music for us to enjoy while in quarantine. Let's pass it on to Edward Agapito for our new music reviews. What's going on, guys? My name is Edward Agapito, and this is Wolfpack TV's first installment of Music Review, where I review some of the newest songs from various artists in the music industry. For today's review, hip-hop icon Travis Scott releases a new single featuring Kid Cudi named The Scots. Produced by Take a Day Trip, Dot the Genius, and Plain Pat with co-production from Travis himself and Mike Dean. Travis released this song April 23rd, peaking at about 6 million views on YouTube, 7.45 million streams on Spotify and on Apple Music, which has surpassed other artists such as Billie Eilish with her new single, No Time to Die. He has also previewed this single on the popular battle royale game, Fortnite where Travis and Epic Games, the main developers who created the game, collaborated to make an in-game concert event named Astronomical. What separates this event and the previous in-game concert collaboration with Marshmallow is the stunning visuals and the truly out-of-this-world performance that was put together. If you'd like to see this event, the full performance is on YouTube. 
As for the song, certain elements and instrumentation in this track really accentuate that sort of iconic Travis Scott sound. From the lo-fi samples and acoustic drums in the intro, the simple but blaring drum patterns throughout the song, and the 80s 8-bit-like synths in the outro, accompanied by Travis and Cuddy's catchy, melodic cadences and flows. A lot of the same key instruments found in this track can also be compared to different tracks on Travis's last album, Astro World, in which Mike Dean has also co-produced, along with other well-known albums such as Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho, Bird Singing the Trap McKnight, and Rodeo. Overall, this single is definitely worth the listen if you are a follower of Travis, Cuddy, or both. Well, that's all I have for you for a music review today, Wolfpack. I'll see you next time. For all Japanese students, the Japanese class is having a virtual karaoke competition this term. Did you know that Kara Oke came from Japan? Kara means empty, and Oke means orchestra in Japanese. Empty orchestra. You can sing as a solo performer, as a pair, as a group, or all three. If you can teach your family members, pets included, to sing along with you, that would be great. They can also be on the video as performance or as moral support. Everybody in the video must act appropriately. If you are or were in Japanese class and are interested in participating in the competition, please contact Ms. Tanaka. Now let's check out counseling announcements. Seniors, if you're going to a four-year college and you have not submitted your intent to register yet, almost all campuses require you to do so by May 1st. If you do not submit your intent to register, your acceptance will likely be withdrawn. You should also go in and decline other offers from the colleges you will not be attending. Seniors, if you're planning to go to any of the Los Rios campuses in the fall, instructions are being emailed this week to help you complete the next steps to register. You can also refer to the school's website for step-by-step -step instructions. Sophomores and juniors, if you are interested in taking advanced education classes at CRC, the information is being emailed to all students early this week. Please read all of the application instructions carefully if you would like to attend. Well, that wraps it up for today, Wolfpack. I'm Matthew Lee. And I'm Jackson Talker. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Keep washing your hands and stay safe, Wolfpack.